dug up some articles about the snow sculpture incident. Let me fill you guys in. Two years ago, a large snow sculpture collapsed during the December Snow Festival sponsored by Sapporo Central City. Kaho Nanase-chan, a nine-year-old girl, was caught in the collapse and died. Despite Mir Hyodo's apology, the accident was ruled as an unforeseeable disaster. Therefore, she wasn't held liable. Oh, so that's what the flowers in the park were for. I wonder if the voice accusing Mari-san was the poor girl's mother. So this is Mari-san's trauma. That park where the snow festival was held is probably where the accident happened. Let's head yeah. over. Let's use Emma and enter the keyboard there. Hmm. The accident happened in Odori Park. Then let's gather at the hideout first and head over. There should be a warden guarding the place if the last few times is any indication. Don't skip on the paper prep work, Akira. Alright, uh, I'll see you guys back at the hideout. Alright, we are back. Let's get to work. Alright, before we go to the destination, of course, I want to go to the shop. So we got to take the shop taken care of. Um, I do also want to look at the requests. Because we uh, did take care of a... Care, took care of five requests in our last dissertation, so... Good job! You are right, groceries available. Death contract small. Good job! Looks like to be a weapon for Haru. We'll take a look at that in a second. Are you double checking the request? Mission, if you're already working on this one. Mission, if you're already working on this one. And death clause. Hmm. So let's take a look at our equipment here. First of all, Haru is the more pers uh, pertinent one. Yep. Death Contract S is an objectively better weapon, so no sense in not using it. And the Makoto also got new ones. Death's Claws, um, also an objectively better weapon, so we'll use that. Okay, let's take a look at our party setup real quick before we go anywhere. Obviously, we gotta have Joker in there. Um, we'll have Ana in there just because I think she's gonna be useful against the ice stuff. Haru's gonna be in there, and. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the setup, so. Let's uh, go ahead and go to the destination. This is where the accident happened, isn't it? Beep. If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. There may be enemies ahead. You sure you guys are ready? We're ready. That's right. I want to see what happened to Mari-san with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What is this? It looks like this is the snow festival. Oof. Check out those two suits over there. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Sir? Would you please be discreet about this? I could do that. But in return, you need to do me a favor. Is that Todd Havercourt? I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town. And you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Ah! The mayor! Oh, it seems I've been found out. It's not what it looks like, Mayor. This is really... Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Mari-san saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. 
I mean, it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? But what's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You're a councilman, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Gosh darn politics! Well, are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. Oh, give me a break. All shields? How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this! This world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, mayor! Bastard! I threatened the mayor? Is that it? I had no idea mari san went through something like this. Something so awful. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. So it's just gonna push us away essentially. Oh yeah. You're mine. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Take this! Now we're Take this! Try to get Oh, hi, uh. You wanted to help? Great. We're here to set Mars on right. Listening to guys like you is a waste of our precious time. We're being unhealthy once we beat it. Everyone do your best. out of the way. When you're in the attack and it's hard to break out of it.
Mothman. Hey, stop with the guns. I do like how it's posed for the um, all our attacks. Guns! Vertigo Slash! Chance of feeling dizzy with XY. Nice! Moth man. Mothman, die! Oh, I don't have enough SP. Moth man! It's just annoying that I can't. Okay, fine.
Does it look tough, Kushala? Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Well, that's all of them. We can get into the throne room now. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from a contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for landing them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. Something along those lines. Ugh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Hyodo overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up! These greedy assholes only wanted money and power! Now I have a better understanding of what Hyodo must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san. Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. Yeah, how are they gonna do this one? This one's tricky. 